Only yesterday, Gavin Williamson was insisting he was innocent. Sir, are you or any of your officials behind the Huawei link? How are you? Uh, absolutely not. But the Prime Minister had come to a different conclusion. Asked by MPs today about discussions over Huawei, she seemed to hint that any breach would be treated with the utmost seriousness. I don't think you can describe me as somebody who has been lax in relation to national security. Just moments later, she headed back to Downing Street to tell her defence secretary he was fired. In her letter, she was withering, telling Gavin Williamson she was concerned by the manner in which you have engaged with this investigation. While other ministers all answered, engaged properly, provided as much information as possible to assist with the investigation, your conduct has not been of the same standard as others. The latest information she went on provides compelling evidence, suggesting your responsibility for the unauthorised disclosure. No other credible version of events to explain this leak has been identified. Gavin Williamson in his reply said, I strenuously deny that I was in any way involved in this leak and I am confident that a thorough and formal inquiry would have vindicated my position. I appreciate you offering me the option to resign, he went on, but to resign would have been to accept that I, my civil servants, my military advisers or my staff were responsible. This was not the case. But one minister promoted in tonight's reshuffle defended Mrs May's actions. And was it right for Gavin Williamson to get sacked? I take very seriously the views of the National Security Advisor. The National Security Council is a very important institution. And I think, although I wasn't privy to the internal investigation, I have enormous confidence the National Security Advisor and the Prime Minister have followed the correct process and know what they're doing. It's a super camera phone. It's super the leak concerned a highly sensitive decision as to whether the Chinese tech giant Huawei should be involved in the rollout of 5G in Britain. The Prime Minister said to favour the idea. The National Security Council discussed it last Tuesday. The next day, details about that discussion appeared in the Daily Telegraph, an unprecedented leak. The Cabinet Secretary and National Security Advisor Sir Mark Sedwill demanded any minister responsible own up. Several, including Mr Williamson, denied being involved. On Saturday, the Daily Mail reported that Mr Williamson tried to blame Mrs May's de facto deputy David Liddington, but it emerged he wasn't even there for the discussion. Tonight, Penny Mordaunt was appointed to replace Mr Williamson, the UK's first female defence secretary. She wouldn't be drawn on any alleged wrongdoing by her predecessor. The Prime Minister's made her decision. What I'm focused on is getting on with the job, and it's a huge privilege to be asked to do work with the best armed forces in the world. As chief whip charged with party discipline, Gavin Williamson notoriously kept a pet tarantula in his office. A key ally of Mrs May, he signed the pact with the DUP after the 2017 election. But when promoted to Defence Secretary, his blunt speaking raised eyebrows, such as this comment after the Salisbury Novichok incident. Frankly, Russia should go away, it should shut up. Labour says if he was behind the Huawei link, sacking him isn't enough. There should be an inquiry and there should be a criminal inquiry. The facts could be put to the investigation team and if it reaches the right threshold, it'll end up in court. I mean, after all, the law must apply equally to everyone. But Tory allies backed Mr Williamson. It does seem bizarre to me that all of a sudden the government's made a stand over one issue when there are many, many other issues when government ministers have clearly broken every single rule in the book and nothing seems to happen to them. But a defence secretary accused of leaking secrets from the National Security Council might be considered altogether more serious. Certainly that was the view taken by the Prime Minister tonight. Libby Fina, News at 10, Westminster.